Hello, welcome to Industrial Surplus. This is a video demonstration of our 1971 Carlton Model 4A radial arm drill. It's a six foot arm by 19 inch column. Drilling capacity is four inch diameter. Spindle speeds are 10 to 1000 RPMs. Uh, it has a spindle travel of 20 inches inches and it takes a number six Morse taper there is an adapter here that uh, looks like it'll go from number six to number five uh, I could do you a close-up on the on the ways on this side they're in pretty good shape serial number on the machine is 4A5584 has a 30 horsepower spindle motor five horsepower uh, head elevation motor built-in coolant system three-quarter horsepower uh, column clamp motor it's equipped with power rapid traverse of the head on the arm going this way power elevation of the uh, arm on the column and I will show you that and uh, power clamping of both head and column uh, the uh, overall machine dimensions are about 12 foot 9 inches left to right 60 inches uh, front to back and uh, about 11 feet 9 inches high weighs approximately 26,500 pounds so I'll just walk uh, through here show you some of the machine the controls this side uh, will show you the ways on this side try to give you a good look And then we'll move the head uh, back and forth so we can show you that way too. I'll show you the upper portion of the column. And it's a good, uh, good, strong, uh, solid machine, well taken care of. I'll just uh, walk back here a little bit. It's getting kind of dark because uh, of the lighting. I don't know if you can see, that's the electrical cabinet. The machine is wired for four, 550 volt. Uh, if you don't have the capacity for 550 or oh, there you go, or 480, uh, you will need a transformer. So yeah, electrics are all in good condition, good shape. Again, uh, well maintained. We do have the manual for the machine. I don't think it's shown right here. There's a wiring schematic, and uh, we do have the full uh, parts manual for it. Okay, uh, here's the back side anyways. Back side of the column. Well, what we can see, again, uh, it's in the same condition that the front is in. And uh, here's the uh, base table. In very good condition. All right, uh, we're gonna show you this machine running. We. Uh, Unfortunately, don't have it on level blocks. So when we unclamp this arm, somebody's going to stand behind there when we go up to make sure the arm doesn't swing into our uh, call, our rail there. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, do what we can do. Okay. Got to clamp, and we're going to go up all the way. show you the, uh, the column, the screw is in really good shape. We just got to watch that uh, rail in the back there. Okay, that's all the way up, and we can what, clamp? Well, I can, I can clamp it here. All right. It's in position. Okay. Yep. I got to clamp. Come down now. Okay, and uh, I 
again, the column is is in good a condition all the way around. Stop at a couple spots to plant too. These are just oil marks here. That's all it is. Clamp. Column. Nice and tight again. Okay. All right, we're going to clamp all the way down. That's clamped. Now we're clamped again at the bottom position. All right. Now we want to bring the uh, head uh, all the way left to right. I got to start the main motor. All right. Now I'm going to unclamp. It's going to unclamp the spindle and the head. And then I'll take a look at the waves on this side. That's all the way, all the way over. Give you a couple of angles, see what they look like. Everything is well lubed. Lubrication is working really good. Easy, easy, easy rotation on the manual as well. Yeah, very easy. That of course. Quiet, yeah. very smooth, easy to work. All the way to the end. Not as far as we can. It. Is that the end? Yep, that's, that's it right end. there. I'm going to clamp it in place. Okay, here are the ways again. I'll show you it's clamped. I got the handle. Yep. Clamped. A real nice working machine. Clamped it. We could do uh, spindle speeds. No. What's that? I believe that's the slowest speed. Okay. Pull down so you can see well, it. Can we power feed? We're on right now. 10 RPM. All right. Bring the coil down so we can take a look at it too, Andy. Give you a nice look at it. As it's going around very slow. Okay. All right. Go through some ranges. That's what I'm going to do now. I think we uh, we need to get a little bit faster for a, for a decent speed. Maximum. Here you can see the table from the front side. Again, uh, it's just in uh, really nice shape. Real good machine. Through a couple more. 
more speeds of the crib. Let's see if I can get it all the way up. That's full speed, which is a thousand. Just uh, what else? Uh, speed. How about different feed rates or threading ranges or I don't know anything else okay, we can we show? Can do that without a problem. That's fastest, progressively slower. Yeah, good. Everything does seem and, to work. Uh, how about uh, this range here? Uh, just somewhere around uh, 49 on the low, 150 on the uh, 158 on the uh, medium. everything on the list. Also, first direction. Feed in the up direction. And it does the same thing in the up direction. to be able to show it to you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Um, if you'd like to arrange for shipping, uh, we can help you with that. Okay, thank you very much.